Hey, 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 it's another Sunday night. Time to focus our energy for the week. How is everyone tonight? Come on in. I'm Terry Ann Hyman from Natural Portia Studio in the Empowered Spirit Circle here on Facebook. Welcome. I like to take Sunday evenings to kind of focus our energy, to talk about what's going on in the week ahead, and to really help us tune in to what it is that we need to focus on for this week ahead. There is so much going on in the cosmos. I know all of you have heard about all the many things, the eclipse coming tomorrow, the partial eclipse, the full moon, and then two weeks we've got the big total eclipse, the great American eclipse as they're calling it. And then we've got a little retrograde in there too. So come on in, come join me tonight and focus our energy and look at what we need to do for the week ahead. Come on in and join me. I'm gonna share this to the group. All right, I have the Empowered Spirit Circle group on Facebook, and I would love for you to come join us, be a part of the group. It's growing. Here we go. I find it on my Natural Forces Studio. I'm going to share it. So do the same for me. Come on in. You do need to grab yourself a big old crystal, something like this. We're going to talk about the number one thing you can do with this full moon energy, if you want these things to show up in your life. So come on in, grab a crystal, and join me as we offer this work and focus our energy with all this crazy eclipse and full moon energy going on. So if you would, come on in. I don't see people coming yet. It always takes a while. Let me know if you're here. Hopefully you'll join me been a really great day crazy weather as usual here in the south what about for you so we're going to turn into some tune into some good vibrations we're going to ask ourselves what's going on hey Linnell how are you give me a thumbs up share it if you can we'll do one more share and then we're going to focus in on what's going on yeah all right here we go I've got the share going on I'll post some links after we're done. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Hi from Kentucky Bourbon Country. All right. Hey, Linnell, you must be doing some work up there. Thanks for tuning in with me. So we're going to be talking about tuning into good vibrations. Do you know what that means? Do you know how to really judge where your vibration is? Where the alignment of your spirit, your physical body, mental, emotional, that's all the things that this month is all about. So give me a hashtag good vibrations if you need to know a little bit more on how to find those vibrations for you. How to tune into the hum of your own energy force. That's what we're going to talk about as we move through these next two weeks. we got a big energies coming around. So what is it for you right now? What do you notice with the full moon? I know for me that emotional body gets out there, but I'll tell you, I've been preparing for this. I've been really grounding my energy, spending some time laying on the earth, doing my ascension practice, my meditations, and really helping me to stay grounded with what I'm doing. It really does make a, make a difference. What is it you do during the full moon? Let me know below in the comments. What is it that you do during the full moon to help you really deal with it? All right, grounding is one of the things I like to do. I like to really acknowledge the full moon. I was out there looking at it last night and this morning really early. I was out at like 4.30 in the morning and it was beautiful orange. So I like to acknowledge the full moon, but in my own personal practice, grounding with the earth. Very important, right? We've got the high moon, we've got the earth below us. So really being that conduit, that channel in between of the earth and the moon is very helpful. We have an eclipse coming up tomorrow, all right? That's with that full moon. So what are eclipses all about, all right? We have been talking about this. There's like a roller coaster of energy. Anything at all could happen. Anything at all, right? Um, yes, laying on the ground, Michelle. Yes, what a great idea it is. I love it. I was out there today laying out there, feeling the vibrations of the earth. I was sitting in the medicine wheel, so crystal grid medicine wheel, and just really asking the earth, what is it you need from me? What is it I can offer you? What can I help you with? Where is that vibration that I hum to? So yeah, what is your vibration during that full moon? Do you let your emotional body get way out there that you can't really deal? Can you process the energy quicker than you used to? What is it for you? I'd really love to know. Leave some comments below on how you deal with the full moon. 
really important because now not only do we have the full moon, we've got the eclipse. So that's that energy of the moon and the sun and the stars, the moon and the sun and the earth passing around in front of each other and really kind of aligning. That's what this whole month is about, realigning our energy, right? Now the Mercury retrograde is going to begin next week. So between now and next week, get your work done. Really important that we get our work done. Don't start new projects after this. Actually, even as you move into the weekend, they always say a few days before. So any new projects, any new contracts, any new purchases, any of those things, get it done right away, especially at the beginning part of this week, all right? Because by the time we get into the next weekend, we're really going to be back into that retrograde, reevaluate, don't sign anything new, really relooking at our lives. So we have that energy, that push-pull energy coming forward. We've got the full moon. We've got that energy coming up. We've got all that energy of midsummer. all right? Really looking at everything that we've done. And then we've got the retrograde that comes right in. It's almost like that roller coaster. We're on the top, there we're on the bottom. We're kind of going around and around. Go forward, go back, go forward. However you want to look at it, it can feel like a roller coaster of energy with the eclipse coming in. And then we move into the retrograde, and then we're going to come into that great American full eclipse they're talking about on the 21st, all right? That's even offering us even more opportunity to really look at our lives. Think about it right now. Think about the political environment. Think about what's going on. Where is that alignment? Is it any wonder that we're having an alignment of energy coming up now? exactly what we need right can you agree with that hashtag alignment if you agree with that we need to check in and see are we with are we in alignment with our values are we in alignment with what we say we are we know there's a lot of that going underneath the surface that is not in alignment so yes no wonder that the cosmos is offering us this opportunity right now to see that phenomena right very interesting i think very very interesting so yes it is stirring up so much there's a lot going on, all the more reason that we do that grounding and that releasing of energy. We talked about it last week, really important that we need to do it as well so that we can see where we are aligned. And we're going to do that in a few minutes at the very end. We're going to do that energy exercise so that we can practice really feeling that alignment, really feeling, getting that excess energy out, really feeling where we are in our own energy and tuning in to those good vibrations, tuning into that hum, that vital living force, really important. All right, so today I was up at the medicine wheel, thinking about all you guys in the group. So yes, if you're not in my Empowered Spirit group, come on over and join us, thinking about all you guys and how I could offer this reading tonight to help us focus for the week ahead. So I chose the Wild Unknown cards. They're really good. I find them very intense and very accurate. And so I decided to do a little meditation with them and pull some cards tonight for you, all right, for the week ahead. So as we do this, let's just take a nice deep inhale and exhale out. Go ahead and feel your feet flat on the earth. Inhale and exhale feel your feet flat on the earth as we open up to this reading for the week so much cosmic energy we need to focus a little bit in on what it is all right so i've drawn four cards here and i've actually even looked at the bottom card to look at that overall influence so it's very interesting because the cards that that kind of start and end are very good matching pairs the son of cups and the daughter of cups which to me is like a an alignment of energy all right the sun starts out with the the sun of cups starts out with all this creative artistic energy expression beautiful energy of opening up to that part of you very important right now and then the female the daughter of cups comes in and she's got all that emotional energy right so we're going to try to combine that emotional energy in a really great way a really great way to combine it instead of just letting that emotional energy be out there let's rechannel it right let's rechannel it into that creative expression because the next card that comes up very interesting death card we always tend to fear this but this is all about shedding the old energy the son daughter younger energy death card old energy let it go welcome that in because when we shed it we open up to new opportunity and that's exactly what the eclipse energy right now is all about shed that old shit folks let me tell you just shed it 
I've been through my own stuff this year. I turned 60. I went through a hard beginning of July. But once I shed it, once I let it go, I am ready. I am empowered. And I want that for you too. Give me a hashtag empowered. Then the next card that comes up that's going to help us to move through that shedding of the skin is another daughter, daughter of pentacles. But this one brings us a little bit more practicality in our life, a little bit more planning, a little bit more of that earth energy, which is what we need, right? Analytical a little bit. So it's asking us to also look at the younger influences around us, look at the youth, look at our young people, look at the millennials, look at what they're talking about as they bring this energy forward, all right? Shed the old, really important, shed the old. And that bottom card that is our overall influence, I love it because this is all about success. Success in our life, the two of wands, all about that passion, pointing us in the direction that we need to go. All right, yay, I've got some hashtag empowered, yay, and hashtag turn 50, right? It feels good to open up to that energy, open up to that wisdom of who we are, but shed the old stuff that doesn't need to carry with us, right? Shed it away, get rid of it. So as we move through this week, very important, all right? Find the power of turning that emotional, excess emotional energy into creative energy. Open up to that creative faculties. Open up to that intuition as we go about and bring this energy in. Get all your work done because guess what? We're going to have the opportunity to relook at what our year is about. Shed the old stuff. Shed the old stuff as we open up to a more empowered sense of who we are and point ourselves in the right direction for success. Look at all those rainbows. Look at all those colors pointing ourselves into a successful path that is ahead of us. And this time right now, the cosmos are aligning for us. We could do it, but we have to step into a new energy. We really do. That's really key. So let it go. Energy follows intention. Intend to let it go. We're going to practice that in a moment. So I do want to talk about one thing you can really do tonight. I know all of you have heard me talk about this before. Here's my, here's my beautiful selenite ball. All right, and I'm going to program this out in the moon tonight. So you can take all your crystals. You can, or as I'm going to suggest, get one really main crystal. Get a big one. They may be even like this huge point, something like this. I'm going to use this. And I am going to clear it out. And tonight, set it out in the full moon. And let that full moon just charge it up with all of this amazing cosmic energy, all right? There's a lot more going on. I'm actually going to have Lori Zielinski back um, a week from Monday on the show to talk about all of the um, astrological influences. She has a greater understanding of it as an astrologer with me. She's been very helpful talking about the lion's gate. So open up to that energy tonight. Take your crystal out there. Now, I'm programming it, I'm programming it, programming it to help me understand the cosmic forces right now and how I can best use them in my life. And I offer you to do the same. Find one crystal that you can do that with. Put that energy and that information in it and let that help to raise your vibration as we move through this time. All right, so take it outside, clear it out. If you know the Reiki symbols, use that Reiki too. Say, hey, key, clear out the excess, put it out in the moon and let the moon come in. And put your intentions for it to capture whatever it is for you. Like I said, I'm putting mine out there to capture that cosmic vibration that's going to help rise mine, raise mine to that next level, right? That's where I'm going, right? Stepping through that portal of energy and up-leveling all that I'm doing. Up-leveling my voice, my work, my power, my purpose, all of it. And I offer you, do the same tonight. Then bring it in. All right, when you bring it in on the full moon, after that, even Monday, you could. Monday night, I mean, Monday, Tuesday, you can leave it out there. Take a moment and empower those energies to come forward. Say, hey, ki, shoku rei, shoku rei, shoku rei, all right? Release and charge so that you have that out there for you to really raise your vibration as we go through these next two weeks, all right? So let's just take a moment. Take a nice deep inhale wherever you are. Feel your feet flat on the floor. Inhaling. And exhaling. So we call in divine spirit, our masters, our teachers, the archangels, and our own spirit guides. We ask that they work with us and through us to surround us and protect us as we move through the energy of this month 
and especially the energy of this next week. Help us to open up to those cosmic forces. Help us to bring it in all for our highest good as we up level to that next new portal of energy as we move through and open up with this lion's gate. Inhaling and exhaling, bringing that breath all the way down the body and just imagining a grounding cord connecting deep into the earth. And now with intention, let out that extra emotional energy that may be accumulating right now in your energy field. Whatever it may be for you, stress, fear, anxiety, whatever it may be, let it go. Send that emotion down the body. Just imagine it sending out. Energy follows intention. Whatever that fear is getting in your way of living that life, living that purpose, let it go. Inhaling as you feel your feet connecting to the earth. And as you exhale, the excess energy, the excess emotional energy. All right, maybe there's some relationship stuff going on with you. The moon and the eclipse is stirring that up. So with each breath, exhale it out deep into the earth. Let it go. Let that energy of the emotional body release out. There's a lot of it accumulating over these next couple of days. Let it go and feel yourself connecting to the earth. Ground and release. Ground and release. Let it go. Inhaling and exhaling. As you release the energy out, feel yourself grounding. Feel the spiritual body aligning, shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips, feet and feet. Pull your energy all into alignment right now. Center your energy and just see yourself stepping through that next portal, that next vibration, raising it up for you. If you have trouble understanding vibrations, let me know. Give me a hashtag vibrations. Up-leveling your life, your purpose, your work. As we open up to the higher vibrations that is raising the consciousness right now. That's what all the stirring up is all about. Inhaling. Exhaling, releasing that excess energy, the excess emotional energy right now from the navel center down deep into the earth. And just focus your mind, focus your spirit, focus the physical body, focus the mental, bring it all in and just visualize your work this week. Visualize, visualize yourself being really grounded in what you're doing. See your work getting done. See yourself being able to move with the forces of the cosmos this week. Really grounding and then opening up, opening up the subtle body to receive all that you need right now. Allow the cosmos to direct you, allow it to open up to empower your spirit. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Send the breath all the way back down deep into the earth, bringing your awareness back. Feel yourself really grounding, really centered and focused as we start off our work week. Coming back. Yes, this is how we become grounded. This is how we use the energy of the cosmos. And this is how we focus on raising our vibration, raising the vibration of humanity. Be a part of that right now. Yes, you, you can do that. Yeah. So talking about good vibrations, tomorrow my show on the Empowered Spirit Show will be live at 12 o'clock. We're going to be talking to Robert O'Neill, Robert O. Williams, sorry, Robert, Robert O. Williams. He played with the Beach Boys. Good Vibrations was one of his favorite. He's written a book about his experiences, about the world, about raising consciousness. Love is the power. And he has this amazing app as well. All you have to do is turn it on and the codes are released from the app technology meets spirituality yes we're going to be talking all about raising our vibration he's going to be talking about a one percent challenge he has for all of us be that one percent we can do it healers light workers yogis all of us we can be that one percent that's going to help raise the 99 percent around us yes join us tomorrow 12 o'clock central time 
Empowered Spirit Show. Take it easy this week. Be sure to ground. Be sure to breathe each and every day. Empower your spirit to move forward. This is the time we're in right now. So thank you guys for coming in and joining me. Be sure to share this with somebody else that might need some information or need the ways to ground. Get your crystals out there. Choose a big one tonight, really big. This is big energy these next couple of weeks. So align your spirit, align your body, your mind, your emotional energy. Empower yourself to move forward. Yes, this is big. Take a nice deep inhale. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Find that creative energy and move it forward. Shed a skin. Let it go. Stay grounded. Come on over to the Empowered Spirit Circle. Find me on Facebook. To your spirit. Have a great week. Talk to you tomorrow online, on air, Empowered Spirit Show. Have a great night. Namaste. To your spirit.